Hi, it's Guy. I'm coming to you today from uh, the colony uh, in Wilmslow, which is uh, where I'm based these days. Uh, really lovely spot in the, in the Cheshire countryside, so you might just be able to hear in the background uh, our local farmer. I think he's muck spreading or something similar. Uh, it sounds like someone's out there shooting as well. It's all, all part of the fun. Um, but this is a really nice environment, and uh, uh, I always think being in the right environment for business is, uh, is a key thing. It helps with, the, with your mindset and, and the way that you, you approach your, your business on a day-to-day -day basis. So talking of business, the, the subject of this uh, video is actually why I would never start a, another business again. Um, I've grown three separate businesses from scratch to over a million pounds turnover, uh, in some cases bigger than that. And do you know what? It's flipping hard work. Uh, anyone that's in business knows that. Uh, here's some interesting stats for you. Uh, one, in, uh, one in two new businesses fail uh, in the first five years. Uh, so that's a massive attrition rate, uh, 50%. And 84% uh, of all UK businesses never turn over more than half a million pounds. Now, uh, that means that most businesses are very much a lifestyle company, but a really kind of micro lifestyle company. Um, and the businesses that we're interested in acquiring are, are still very much in that kind of own and managed lifestyle uh, sector by and large. They're not kind of corporate entities. But here's the thing, the reason why I wouldn't start another business is the time and the effort required, uh, the stress, the pressure, the funding, etc., to start a brand new company, uh, make sure you've got the right clients on board, make sure you get paid by those clients, find the right people to, to grow the business, uh, to, to, to allow you to step away from the business, it is extremely difficult. Uh, and it could all fail spectacularly or you could be successful. But if you can go out and find a company for sale uh, that you could buy that, that already does the thing that you're thinking of doing, and if you really, really want to adapt it and, uh, and take on the, the idea, the business idea that stimulated you in the first place, then just do that. Um, you know, a ready-made company where someone is ready to sell either because they've had enough, um, they're tired, they're fed up, uh, not that the business is failing or, 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 or in, in any kind of distress, we're only interested really in good profitable companies where there's a proven business model. Um, but very often, you know, we meet business owners who are just at that kind of plateau and it's just trundling along. And they've reached the point where, you know, they've paid off the house, the kids have gone through university, they've been bank of mum and dad, now they just want to kind of chill out and go and do those cruises. So the perfect sweet spot, baby boomers, uh, those kind of people. Just go out there, guys, and, and find those companies. You know that they're they're out there begging to be bought. Uh, so don't think about starting another business. Just go and buy one. It's a lot more fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video today. Uh, if you have, uh, find out more. Go on our website www.thebusinessbuyersclub.co.uk. Uh, you can download a copy of my book for free there, which tells you all about how to find and acquire owner managed businesses. Um, uh, come onto our Facebook page, make a comment, post, get involved in, in the debate, the dialogue, or indeed uh, make a comment below this video. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, I love comment, I love feedback, uh, always do my best to respond to everything that comes our way and, and have that dialogue with you. So until the next time, bye for now.